Hello, this is Father James Kubicki with a reflection on today's saint. A lot of people are gathering in Naples, Italy today on the feast of the patron saint of their city, Saint Januarius. He was their bishop, and he died around 305 in the last big persecution of the church by the Roman Empire. They have a relic of his, a tube of his dried blood, but several times a year, including on his feast day, the dried blood becomes liquid. This has been going on for over 600 years, and it's one of the most scientifically studied religious phenomena in the world. Scientists have been unable to come up with an explanation for it. Nor can we, people of faith, except to say that for some reason, God wants to show the world that not everything that happens can be explained. There are mysteries and miracles. Maybe you're thinking that it would be nice to have a YouTube video of the relic becoming liquid, or even to be there for the event. And yet, there is something even more phenomenal taking place much closer to home. It's much bigger than dried blood turning to liquid and then becoming dry again. It's bread and wine becoming the body and blood of Christ. Think of it, you don't need to fly to Naples to see a miracle. One has happened or will be happening not too far from where you are right now. But the question is, do you really believe that? that bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ? And if you believe it, when you go to Holy Communion, do you receive the Eucharist in a way that shows you believe? Father Kubicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and other information, visit our website at www.apostleshipofprayer.org.